As can be seen, the incident X-ray or gamma-ray photon gets completely absorbed by an orbital electron in case of photoelectric effect. There is no photon after it has interacted with orbital electron. What happens to the orbital electron which has absorbed electromagnetic energy or photon? Part of the absorbed energy is firstly used to overcome binding energy of the orbital electron that means the orbital electron gets completely detached from the atom. The remaining energy that means photon energy minus binding energy of electron appears as kinetic energy of the detached electron. This detached electron is also referred as photoelectron. Energy equation of photoelectric effect is electromagnetic energy of photon equals binding energy of orbital electron plus kinetic energy of photoelectron. This also means that the minimum energy of incident photon required to have a photoelectric effect is the binding energy of orbital electron below which no photoelectric effect can occur. So one can say photoelectric effect has a threshold energy below which photoelectric effect cannot occur occur and the threshold is the binding energy of orbital electron. After removal of atomic electron by X-ray or gamma-ray photon, the atom is left with a vacant energy level. This vacant inner shell is not stable and electron from outer shell has to jump to fill inner shell orbit. Energy of deferent shells inside an atom are not same. Outer shell electrons are in higher energy state than inner state electron within an atom. Hence outer shell electron has to release energy in order to occupy inner shell. Now question is how much energy is released and in what form energy equivalent to difference of outer shell and inner shell energy state is released and in the form of electromagnetic energy or photon also called characteristic X-ray. Energy equation this electronic transition is. Photon energy released equal energy of outer state or shell, energy of inner shell or state probability of photoelectric effect if a photon has energy more than binding energy of an orbital electron it can interact through photoelectric effect but with certain chance or probability not 100 percent the chance or probability for photoelectric effect is inversely proportional to cube of energy of photon that is e to the power 3 that means photons of higher energy has lesser chance for photoelectric effect Decrease in photoelectric effect probability with energy can be seen in the graph. Probability of photoelectric effect is directly proportional to cube of atomic number of a material that is jed to the power 3. That means probability for photoelectric effect increases with atomic number. As can be seen in the graph probability is less with water whose effective atomic number is 7.5 than that of iodine jed equal 53 and leave jed equal 82. This is because higher jet means higher number of electrons inside atom and more electron are eligible for photoelectric effect. And the eligibility criterion is incident photon energy is greater than binding energy. As seen in the graph probability for photoelectric effect increase abruptly at 33 kilo electron volt for iodine and 88 kilo electron volt for lead. This increase in probability is due to incident photon energy reaching K-shell electron energy and photoelectric effect was going on with L-shell electron below 33 kilo electron volt for iodine. So the probability of photoelectric effect is highest when incident photon energy is equal to binding energy of electron or slightly more and henceforth decreases with energy. Please do subscribe the channel for more updates and notifications.